patients today, they're not going online just to look for their diagnosis and treatment options. They're looking for their doctors, their hospitals, their health institutions. They're not going to the newspaper. They're not going to the yellow pages. They're going to be starting on a page like this and Googling their name. So this is perhaps the most critical point of today's talk. Every health organization, every hospital, every doctor needs to Google their name at least once a week and see what comes up because that's what patients are doing. So I have a simple rule of thumb when healthcare workers are on social media, it's called the elevator test. If you're on social media, imagine yourself in a crowded hospital elevator. And if you say aloud what you write in that social network, ask yourself, is that okay? If the answer is no, or even if you're not sure, don't hit enter because there are some of us who will be shocked at how quickly that information can spread and how fast you could potentially get into trouble. Because there's a lot of personal information on a Facebook profile, pictures of your kids, what you did on vacation, you don't necessarily want patients to know about. So the goal is to practice what's called dual citizenship. Separate your, face, uh, your personal and professional identities. So yes, you can have a Facebook profile, but close it to the public. Only open it to close friends and family members. And then you can have a separate Facebook page that's your professional presence on the site. It could be a valuable way to connect with the millions of patients who get health information on Facebook. But I think the best way to manage an online reputation is to be proactive about it. Get a strong social media profile. Google Plus, for instance. LinkedIn. And there's a misconception that this takes a lot of time. No one has to use social media to the extent I do. It takes about 10 to 15 minutes to do a LinkedIn profile, and that single back is powerful. Because that LinkedIn page will get ranked high when your name is Google, and it push down the effects of some of these third-party sites. The goal is to dominate the search engine rankings for your name and be proactive about the content about you. So when it comes to healthcare and social media, we need to be more optimistic. We can't ban social media from our hospital websites or block them because it's not gonna go away. We need to educate healthcare workers instead teach them that how they act online should be no less professional than how they act in the room face-to-face -face with a patient.